Hey guys, this is Manas and I'm back with another custom ROM video. In my previous video, I talked about the pure Nexus ROM for Laico LE2 and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the most stable ROM available for LE2, that is the Lineage OS. But is it really that smooth and stable? Let's find out. Like my previous video of pure Nexus ROM, this time also the video will have two parts, pros and cons of Lineage OS. Let me tell you something about this Lineage OS ROM for LE2. The ROM is based on Android Nougat 7.1.2 and the Lineage OS version is 14.1 and this is 27 July 2017 nightly build and the Android security patch level is July 5, 2017 as you can see. So let me begin with the good things. UI. First of all I wanna say that the ROM is very smooth to operate. I didn't find any lag even while switching between apps, in gaming or in multimedia tasks. RAM management is also great in this ROM, so the performance part is good and you won't disappoint installing this ROM if performance is your main priority. Moreover, what I like is the custom ROM has OTA update support. I downloaded the latest nightly build and updated it as you can see on the screen. So OTA support is a good thing. You don't have to flash manually every time newest version releases. Second thing is connections. Pure LTE works perfectly from the moment you install this ROM on your device. And Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot etc also works quite well, so no problem in connection. Third is fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor also works from the very first boot. Unlike Pure Nexus, it won't reboot after registering your fingerprint for the very first time. But if you restart your phone, then after restarting, it requires you to type the password for a single time and after that it works perfectly. Little slow but works. Now let's move on to the bad things. First of all I have to mention the camera. I don't know what's the problem of this custom ROMs for LA2 but in every single custom ROM you will find buggy camera. This ROM is also no different. I use this ROM for 7 days now. For the first few days the camera works fine. The UI was slow means switching from still camera to video camera or switching from back to front facing camera and vice versa is painfully slow. But I didn't mind as the camera is doing its work. But after updating to the latest build, the camera crashes sometimes. The captured videos has only the audio and a still image. I feel sad, cause this ROM was performing quite well till the update. Though it added some feature to the camera app, I don't like it. The crashes, I mean. Second thing is the infamous IR blaster bug. This is present in all Laico LA2 custom ROMs. I don't mind cause I don't use this feature. But if you use IR Blaster, then my request is, please stick to EUI. Third thing is the battery performance. Well, the battery performance is not that bad. But if you compare it to EUI, then yes, it's definitely less. Because I have to charge my phone twice a day. But when I was in EUI, I charged my device only once a day. But afraid not, with the help of some tweaks, you can increase your battery life in this room too. I will make a separate video on that if you guys want. So guys, that's my take on this Lineage OS 14.1 for Lyco LE2. Is this the perfect ROM for Lyco 2 Well, if you are not a camera centric guy or prefer a little performance boost, then yes, this is a perfect ROM for you. But I think camera is equally important in a modern day smartphone. What do you guys think? Let me know by dropping a comment below. I will talk to you guys in my next one. So till then subscribe and stay connected. Thank you for watching.